Hey everybody, Adam here, uh, FLG head judge, to uh, talk to you guys about a, uh, Atlantic City Open. Just a reminder of a few things and let you know about some of the changes and new things we're doing at ACO this year. So we'll start with the stuff to just uh, remind you about. A few of the things we did last year, some of the stuff we did this year also, so that you can be up to date in what's going on. So let's get started. Real quick, this is being recorded on Sunday evening. Lists are due Monday night, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. And then a list will be unlocked Wednesday morning. I usually do it as soon as possible. So hopefully by about midnight Wednesday uh, Pacific Time, uh, the list will be unlocked and everyone can see what is what everyone's bringing. If you are having issues with your list, whether it's just registering at all, or just your list not showing up, or you have something wrong, it's usually okay to let me know before the list go live, and you can just email me at headjudge at frontline, frontlinegaming.org. Again, that's headjudge at frontlinegaming.org. Let me know what's happening or what you need, and I can quickly take care of it. If you make a request after the, after lists go live, it, depending on the situation, there will most likely be a yellow card penalty. Probably not a points penalty, but that's a case-by-case -case basis. But at the minimum, you will get a yellow card. A yellow card during a reminder that the yellow card during the uh, before the tournament. So basically, a list yellow card does not preclude you from getting an and winning an award at ACO. So even if you get a yellow card because you turned in a list late or you had to make a change, you can still uh, win Renman or Paragon. Uh, for the last year, if you get a yellow or red card during the event, you are ineligible to win uh, Paragon of the Hobby Award. But you can still win, well, somehow, overall, I mean, uh, Best General or Best Painted. In addition, uh, if you sent in any questions for the uh, FAQ, the FLG FAQ, as of this recording, all the questions have been answered. If you go to the link in the description or the link in the email, if you look at the email instead, you can see that the question should be in the tab that just says recently uh, answered questions and they don't get moved to the relevant uh, army tab until after the event so keep a, keep a look out for that also don't forget we are using the we did get a couple questions regarding the walls and how they'll be played for the event uh, we do use the WTC ruling and the ruling is that they're basically treated as um, Barricade, so it's a two-inch engagement range, and that is only for models that are eligible to go through walls to begin with, uh, breachable walls. So if it's an infantry or a swarm, uh, I forget the other one, but if they're eligible to go through walls normally, then they can take advantage of the uh, two-inch engagement. If it's a vehicle, a knight, uh, a tank, um, a large monster, then they cannot take advantage of the two-inch engagement because they can normally cannot go through walls and having fly does not count so just be aware of that uh, again uh, paint judging is at the start of the day on Friday and Saturday if you missed e if you miss either day for paint judging you will not get judged uh, on, like you won't get judged on Sunday it's only Friday and Saturday when you get judged uh, also please remember to check in 24 at at least 24 hours before the start of the event, which means if you arrive on Thursday, you should be able to check into the event so that we have everybody checked in. Uh, I'll do the pairings about 15, 10, 15 minutes before the, uh, the event starts. So make sure you're checked in before that. Otherwise, you will not be paired in the first round and we'll have to figure out uh, who to pair you with. You cannot check in once the tournament starts. I have to check you in. So if you haven't checked in, and you forgot to just look for me um, and I'll get be able to check you in and hopefully find someone for you to play because uh, usually there's other people that forgot to check in or didn't uh, check in for them okay so on to a few of the new things uh, if you have if you went to LVO or have been to any of the other local events and you're kind of nearby like Cherokee you'll notice that we had these little QR codes that we use to call a judge at to the table so we're still using that people seem to actually like that that aspect so you what you do if you've never used it before you just scan the qr code it goes to your whatever text message 
uh, app you use and it already the words table number are already in there you just put in the table number you're at and you just hit send do not ask me a question or do not ask a question in that in that message because it won't be answered until a judge gets to your table it does take a minute or two depending uh, how many people are requesting a judge so be please be patient but that's and we'll have a QR code a card with the QR code at every table um, now if you don't want to use it and you decide to yell out judge and raise your hand that's fine also but please keep your hand up until a judge comes to your table do not put your hand down after you yell out judge or even if you make eye contact with a judge do not put your hand down because sometimes we get distracted on the way and then we lose where we were supposed to go so keep your hand up until we get there also a couple of the new things um, this year we have everyone's playing eight rounds regardless of their standings so uh, unlike previous years where we had you do it that where there was a top cut and then you can maybe play in the RTT or just play pickup games or whatever. If you choose so, you can continue playing all eight rounds. So there's no top cup, no top cut, and there's no bracket. So you can improve your standing by just but if you just keep on playing. You can also choose not to play that day at all, uh, which is true any day any day during the tournament, whether it's Friday or Saturday or Sunday. You just drop, and you can drop using the app. If you go to your player details, there's a big red button that says drop, and you just hit drop. Try not to do it after we do pairings, because that kind of messes up the pairings a little bit, but it's not the worst thing in the world. So just a reminder, it's a full eight games, Friday through Sunday. You're more than welcome to drop if you want to, but it is an eight-game tournament no matter what. A couple of the new things, uh, just a paint reminder that... We are moving beyond past the three color minimum. So if you're going to have, uh, if your army should be painted to more than a three color, it should be substantial. We have had issues in the past where people were just painting a main color and then putting like three dots of color on the model. So your model should be painted a substantial amount of paint on the models, different colors. But also, more importantly, your bases should be based not just painted with a color but also with some type of basing material on there gw uh I, th I believe monument hobbies there's a lot of companies nowadays that make basing material that you can just paint on so it's it's, it's really just like painting another color on your base except it's basing material as opposed to just a, a pigment of paint uh, as we move forward especially when we get closer to lvo i'm telling you right now lvo will more than likely be uh, full color um, battle ready uh, paint. If you don't know what battle ready is, just look it up. It's not hard to find. Um, it's more GW battle ready, which is a substantially more effort than what you usually are used to with an FLG event. Um, also, don't forget, we are using the new static terrain. We are... So we, we moved away from player place. Player place is no longer a thing. We have static static terrain. It's in the player packet. Uh, refer to the player packet and there's a link to the train setup we also have the flg app if you are not familiar with the app you just look look up frontline gaming app it looks like the logo you download it and make sure you update it before the tournament starts and it updates with basically the the new player pack and this you can use this app at any flg event that you are attending whether it's uh, uh atlantic city open bao cherokee lvo It'll always be updated right before the event, so you just update the app, and it'll update it with the proper uh, player pack for the event. So if we ask you to look at the player pack, you just look in the app, and the app will have the player pack in there. So you can look at both both the times uh, and also the um, the layouts for the terrain. And regarding to the times, the round is the, I think, believe day one is starting at 10 a.m. Uh, and day two and three is starting at 9 a.m. Uh, day one, we start paint judging at 8. And day two, we start paint judging at 8. So those are your chances to get your, your armies judged for paint. Um, in addition to the static, new static terrain layouts, we, we're going to ask players to set up the terrain when they get there on, on day one for game one. So you get there, you set up the train. All of them are going to have measurements. If you can, if you're on one of the GW train layouts that does not have measurements, 
um, there are measurements actually in the Tabletop Battles app for the GW terrain. Uh, I can clarify more the day of the event, but that's where it's at right now. Also, for um, what we ask is that you guys set up the terrain for your first day, and after each subsequent game, make sure the terrain is set up for the game for the following game. So as soon as you're finished with your game. Um, place the train in such a way for the for the next game and in the case of the gw train it's going to be the same setup for each day um, but for the urban corruption and the imperial sanctuary terrain i believe it's different for each mission so just look at the terrain layouts and that will tell you where to put the train and if you can just do your your um your fellow gamers a solid and just set up that train for them for them after your game is over so everyone can get going on their next um of the next round. Lastly, on Thursday night, we'll have a what I want to call like a judge workshop. Uh, if you're if you're ever um, thought about judging, had questions about judging, uh, wants advice on judging, uh, I'll, I will be available. Uh, and me and I think a couple of other judges might be available Thursday after 5 p.m. in the main hall where we're playing the champs. I'll be there just to talk uh, more bit, talk about judging. Uh, if you have any questions about judging, if you have any questions about how to become one, if you're having trouble being a judge, or if you had issues being a judge, or or even how to become more involved with the community in general, um, because we've had people ask about helping with FLG events, with helping with their local events, uh, things of that nature, or just if you want to hear me tell stories about being a judge over the years, since I've been doing it for so long now. Um, I would be available from 5, probably till about 8 or 9 o'clock. Um, and, and there's no charge to it. I'll just be there to hang out anyway. So just come ask me questions. Uh, I'll probably be wearing my yellow judge shirt so it's easy to find. Um, if not, I'll most likely be where, near wherever Kicker's at or, or Mike at the at the uh, registration table. And um, we, can have, we can find a place to talk and discuss uh, uh, judging and, more importantly, of uh, managing events especially if you're also a to because a lot of judges are also to's but again that'll be thursday night or uh, from five to about eight or nine and uh we can talk whatever you guys want to talk about i'm usually open book and i'm willing to talk about anything and everything uh in regards to 40k judging tournaments flg itc gw whatever whatever you guys want to talk about i'm more i'm more than happy to to discuss stuff um but I think that's about it for now. I don't have anything else that I can remind you. Of. of course, I'll probably think of something after I'm done with this recording. <laughs> but uh, just a reminder to turn your in your list. Uh, if you have any questions, again, just email me at headjudge at frontlinegaming.org. That's headjudge at frontlinegaming.org. And I'll try to take care of it as soon as possible. And I'll see everybody this weekend.